Have I considered taking grad school classes in a topic of interest? I, I was going to grad school when I was working at helicopter support, okay? Now, I was against doing it. I got my degree, all right, which is finance. And out of college, literally no one wanted to hire me for having a finance degree. I would go to the interview, and they would be like, so what experience do you have? And I'd say, well, I don't have any experience. I'm fresh out of college. I said, well, sorry, we're looking for someone with experience. I'm like, well, I don't understand. What experience was I supposed to have? I was in college. I just got my degree. And they said, oh, well, did you take any internships? I said, internships? I said, during my college years, I was working full time. I was doing a full course load and I had a full time job to pay for college. How was I supposed to do an internship? To which none of them would have an answer. The answer is you're supposed to be rich. In America, you're supposed to be rich so that you don't have to work. So you can do a free unpaid internship to get experience so you can get a job in the financial field as soon as you graduate from college. I know that sounds broken because it is. It's a, it's a rigged system, okay? So anyway, <clears throat> after I got out of college and I, I basically flubbed around jobs for a while, when I finally got the helicopter job, they actually paid for you to go to courses. Now it's not full time, but you know, you could do like part time night classes to try to get an MBA. And I did start, I, I went, I think two semesters. So I got through a whole semester and then I went to my second semester. And what ended up happening was I was, I, I keep in mind back then my back was messed up really bad. So I couldn't really drive that much. You know, it was like local driving. So in order for me to go, I was going with coworkers. Okay. And actually, to be honest, my coworkers talked me into doing this. It really wasn't something that I was interested in. But they kind of taught me into it. Then I told my parents. My parents convinced me to do it. Yes, you should go try to get a master's degree. Right? Second semester. All right? Here's what happens. I'm in class with, with another coworker who, who actually is the one who's carpooling driving us. Our third classmate, who usually would come with us, also worked at our job, couldn't go this week. All right? I'm in I don't know if I've ever told you guys this story. I probably haven't. So I'm in class, and this girl... I guess it was presentation day. I'm trying to remember. It was presenting with different groups, and I had a presentation, and she had a presentation. She goes up. I say girl, but, you know, we were in our 20s. She goes up to do her presentation. Her face goes pure pale white, and she barfs all over the front of the classroom in front of everybody. I don't know if she was sick or if it was nerves. She just explodes in front of the whole class. It's disgusting, okay? So she runs to the bathroom. It's very embarrassing. Now, here's the thing. My back is fucked up, and she's sick now, and we got to get out of there, right? And I'm like, I really can't drive unless you want me to drive on the city streets, which should take us like an hour to get you home. I can't really drive, you know, because I'm, I can't. My back is fucked up. I cannot drive on the highway. That, at that point, to make this clear, my back was so bad that I kind of was limping around. I had numbness and shooting pain down my right leg. And at any time I could get a spasm. So imagine me driving on the highway and I get a spasm in my leg and it makes you car drives off the highway because I hit the gas pedal or worse. I hit the, ga the the brakes for no reason and car just plows into us behind. Right. So I never drove on the highway. I only drove locally. So that way I could drive slowly. And if that happened, it wouldn't be a big deal. So I explained, I said, I could drive you home. But it's going to take like over an hour on city streets. So she called her fiance. Her fiance shows up. He's ripping fucking pissed. Like really angry about the situation. And I'm like, what is he angry about? His fiance got sick. It ain't her fault that she got sick. I don't even know if it was she was actually sick to her stomach or it was nerves. But it, it's, what are you going to do, right? I think he was mad at me. Because like, he's like, oh, why couldn't I drive? I'm like. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I could, you want me? I said I would drive. It would take like over an hour to get home. So basically, what ended up happening was after that fiasco, we basically like barely finished the semester, and that was it. Like that, th no one wanted to go anymore. So me, I would have continued to try to get my MBA, but knowing that I couldn't really drive, I mean, I'm not going to drive over an hour to get to this college, right, and then come back. So it just all ended. Like the, everyone just stopped going for for the MBA. And so I just stopped going. I, I only had like two semesters and that was it. I mean, you need way more than two semesters in order to get an, uh, an MBA. So I had all those credits and they just, they just fade into oblivion or whatever. And uh, there you go. <laughs> so that's it. So no, I never went back for an MBA or anything like that. And then, like I said, 
I was in, in that that job for about four and a half years, and then I, I got laid off anyway. I was already doing YouTube stuff, so no, I never really had a desire. And at this point in my life, what on the holy hell would an MBA do for me? Zero. <laughs> it would literally do absolutely nothing to help me in any realm of my life. So.